All right, Shalom, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. This is another GMS Riley collaboration once again. The brothers from the GMS Riley camp. I'm the brother in the Quam. The brother Shalai. I'm the brother Tazaba. And before we go any further with his Lord's with the edifying lesson, we want to give our honor and our glory and our praises to our Heavenly Father and to his only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. And next up, double honors to our elder apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, who still got there in the hours and hedges and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And Shalawan to all the sincere Icumists out there laboring to the best of their abilities, preaching and teaching of 100% truth according to the Bible out of the fear of the Lord, man. Whether people hear, whether they forbear. This is, this is only for the elect. You brothers got it. Mm -hmm. Um, I got I got some. I kick it off. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Um, this is uh Deuteronomy, right? Chapter thirty-two and verse thirty-nine. Mm. See now that I, even I, am He, mm -hmm. and there is no God with me. I kill. And I make alive, I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. And that's the Lord. That's plain, that's simple, and that's straight to the point. The Heavenly Father, who you eagerly call God, says, Listen, man, I'm the one that's doing all the killing or the deletion. However, somebody goes, that's how the Lord wants them to go. If somebody have a near deletion experience and they survive, that was of the Lord. If somebody gets an injury, or if we get an injury, that was of the Lord, man. Pretty much whatever the Lord can give you, he can take it away. The Lord gave you life, he can take away your life too, okay? The Lord is this with balance. Ain't no Buddha, ain't no Allah, ain't no Santa Maria, ain't no damn Jeebus or Yah or all these or none of these false idols, okay? Uh, uh, Making decisions with the Lord in the spiritual world, that's not happening, man. Because guess what? Those idols ain't real. Yep. You got it, brothers. I got some. Uh, this, uh, <clears throat> this book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 6, it says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and Yahweh by Shem Shah have not done it? You got it, bro. Right, and that trumpet that's being blown is this word, right? The one hundred percent truth according to the Bible, right? It says, "It says, shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it." Right, the Lord controls both sides according to Isaiah forty-five and seven. The Lord said He controls the the. the uh, mm -hmm. I got it. You got it. Yep. Right. This, right. this is Isaiah. Um, oh, it's like I don't know. It's like a. I, I had the wrong one, but as I said, 40. Bear with me one second. You are good, bro. Yep, yep. Yep, this is Isaiah 45 and 7. It's like it. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Right. Mm -hmm. right. right, just like the brother was saying, okay. right? The Lord, He creates, He, uh, He creates evil. He creates peace. Anything that's done in the earth, don't nothing happen unless it's signed off by the heavenly Father. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh shine, man. Right? Mm -hmm. Evil times, good times, peaceful times, right? Those all happen. Uh, it's all according to the will of the heavenly Father, man. You got it, bro. You go back to your um, precept. Uh, <clears throat> back at Amos. Three and three and six, and it reads, "Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it?" Right. So when you hear this trumpet, which is this word being blown, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, that's a sound for you to be afraid. Right. You should tremble, like like the uh, the prophet Habakkuk said, "I heard thy speech and I was afraid." 
right? We're supposed to tremble at this word, right? These these are the judgments of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. It says in uh, Psalms 9 and 16, the Lord is known by the judgments that he executed. So these different judgments, you see these these uh, people having car accidents. Mm -hmm. You know, I seen a car accident on the way home. Mm. Car, car was getting off the exit and it, it, drew, it drove into the woods. It was a Camaro. You know what I'm saying? So that that was that was judgment. <laughs> you know, that was that was even being done in the city. The pe the people they looked at they they looked at it like, you know, it was a, it was a horrific situation. But you know, us being in the faith, we know that hey, that was the judgment of the Lord. That's right, right. and that's why we fear y'all about Shemmy Al Shah. But you got it, bro. That's right. Either you fear the Lord, or the Lord put your ass down, man. You know. Or the Lord sends some brutal judge judgment your way, man. And that motivates us to fear you how about you my shot even more. I got something real quick. Mm -hmm. This is the book. I'm gonna read it in two translations. This, I'm gonna read it in the KJV first. This is the book of Psalms 50 and 22. It says, Now consider this, ye that forget you how about you be how it says, At least I tear you to pieces. And there be none to deliver. So if you don't repent, turn back to you. How about you, my child? After the prophets gave you the warning, the Lord says, "Listen, man, He gonna tear you to shreds, man. You know, whether it be uh, 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 uh spiritually, because without the knowledge and the wisdom and understanding of these scriptures, you're miserable. So the Lord is tearing these people up spiritually. Then eventually, the Lord tear these people up physically, man. Mm -hmm. They get incurable ailments. They get um." Hey, the brother talks about was going into these horrific car accidents, you know, those, uh, you know, just the different types of deletions, man, and chaos. That was the Lord that sent them that way. Well, I'm going to read it in the, um, I'm going to read it in another translation. This is Psalms 50 and 22. It says, understand this, ye who forget, ye have a body stream out of shot. It's referring to you, Israelites, you so-called Negroes, you Latinos, you Native American Indians, according to the seed down of your fathers, right? It says, or oh, I will tear you apart, and there will be no one to rescue you. Yeah, ain't nobody going to rescue you from the judgment of the Lord. You know, the Lord says he's the one that uh, wounds and he heals. He kills and he makes a lie. So if you're against the Lord and the Lord says, judge me your way, ain't nobody going to rescue you, man. It don't matter how much Esau try to pump that electricity shock panel into your chest, give you CPR, do operations on you. It don't matter. Okay. If the Lord says you're going to go, that spirit is going to be called back to the spirit world. What do you like it? Accept it or not. Okay. You got it. Y'all better got it. Um, I got, I got one. This is, um, this is St. Luke chapter 12 and verse five, right? It reads, but I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear, fear him, which after he have killed, have power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him, right? So it says what? But I will forewarn you. And that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing right now. To forewarn means to warn somebody beforehand, right? Starting off with the apostles, elders, great millstone, and all the sincere brothers on down. We're warning you in advance, right? That trumpet is being blown like the brother read, right? And But what? We shall forewarn you who you should fear, right? We're not talking about fearing Sleazy E or any of these other heathens or any, or any of the uh, carnal things here on, on the face of the earth. But what? Fear him that after he have killed, right, or deleted, right, because we read, like in Deuteronomy and all the other scriptures we just brought out, the Lord is in control of all that, man. The control is, the Lord is in control of life and death, right? It says, have the power to cast into hell. And hell is just either one of two things, either in the grave or low estate, right? The Lord has the power to put you to, like the brother said, to call that spirit up, right, uh, and, and delete you, right? And also, has the uh, power because what we come back, right? Reincarnated means uh, back in the flesh, right? So when these spirits come back down, the Lord has the power to put you in any situation he wants to put you in, man. Right? He, yep. He's in control of life and death, 
He's in control of the spiritual realm. He's in control of everything, man. Nothing happens outside of the power of Yahweh Ba Hashem Shai. Yes, Sleazy can maybe put a bullet in your head or you can get deleted by another Jake here on the earth. But with the understanding is that what? That the most high sanction sanction at all, no matter what. And he's also in control of what happens after the fact, man. So you need to put your fear in him, man. That's right, because the Lord was like it. No, 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 I just wanted to say, you Jake, you Israelites, right? Because that's what this warning is for. You got it, man. Yeah, man, because the Lord can put you with well, your condition way worse than your condition already is, man. Mm -hmm. What the Lord pronounce what the Lord pronounce upon you in the spirit world, you're gonna play it out on the earth, man. If the Lord says you're gonna come back deaf, you come back deaf. If the Lord says you're coming back, uh and, and one of your limbs is gonna be amputated, guess what? That's what's gonna happen. The Lord wants you to come back a paraplegic, paraplegic, that's what's gonna happen. You got you better got it. Right. Yeah, something about the bar. Yeah, I got something. <clears throat> it's the book. It's a book of Psalms 68 and 20. Right. It says he it says, He that is our power is the God of salvation. That's the spirit. And unto and unto the, the Heavenly Father, the Lord belong the issues from death. And that's the spirit. I had that same scripture. You see that? Me that's too. the Lord, man. Actually, how about shit me? How shy? You see that? Who you eagerly call God in Jesus Christ is the one that's doing all the deletions throughout the whole planet Earth, man. You know, so what happens over there in the Middle East, those people getting B-O-M, B-E-D, you know, guess what, man? That was the Lord. The Lord put it in those those people's minds to go and, and send napalm strikes over there, you know? Anybody, period, man. You know what I'm saying? These different uproars of the people, these, um... Different relationship, domestic violence, and all that. That's all you have about Shema Shah. The Lord, the Lord got the spirit uh, of division out here, man. Mm -hmm. And this is pleasing the Lord. Mm -hmm. you, got, you, got, you got something, bro? You got it, bro. If you got some. Uh, me? Yeah, I got some. Uh, yeah, I got, I got some. Let's oh, see. go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Hey, you got another one, brother? Yeah. What you got, bro? Uh, this is a book of Second Chronicles 15. And you want me to start at 12 or 13? Let's go straight to the point. Uh, you can start at 12. Uh, it says, and they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord power of their fathers with all their heart and with all their soul, that whosoever would not seek the Lord power of Israel should be put mm -hmm. to death. You know, that's referring to you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, you Latinos, and Native American Indians, because that was your agreement. Your agreement was you salt, you salt the minute, you salt Yahweh Hashem Al Shah through the men of the Lord, and you obey, man. Or if you didn't obey, you will suffer consequences. Henceforth, that's why we got these curses upon us to this very day for our disobedience, man. And the scripture says that whosoever will not seek the Lord power of Israel through the men of the Lord, you are going to be put to sleep eventually, man, in the worst way. Okay? You're going to be deleted in the worst way. And you see, you got, you see, you see I think like three different rappers got deleted last week. Okay? Then this week, you got that, uh, we had a wrestler uh, by the name of Psycho Sid. He's up out of there. Any old school, bro, any brother that was in the old school wrestling, you know what I'm saying? He died of C A N C E R, which is an uh, a disease of the body. Yeah, my shit, my shots to lead these people, man. You got it, bro. <clears throat> whether small or great, whether man or woman, right, whether you're rich, whether you're rich, whether you're poor, whether you live in check to check, which is average. Uh, whether you're a man or whether you're a woman, yeah, you woman, are, you women are damn sure not exempt from the judgment, man. You know, unless you are the elect. But majority of people that's gonna get put to put to sleep is is, is you women, man. You know, because well, guess what? The, it, don't women outnumber men? So majority of, the, of our people, two thirds club is gonna be you damn women, man. You wicked ass women and you wicked ass men, and then along, right along with your children, man. That said the Lord, that said the Bible, you know? Like we always like to reiterate at camp, you know what I'm saying? They, 
women will read the scripture and they probably say, oh, it says he, it says he. So they don't mean women. Now nah, it means you too, homegirl. You know, mm -hmm. that's why the Lord is happy. Y'all get deleted too. Jake getting tired of your damn wickedness, man. The Lord put the spirit mm -hmm. on these Jake to blast you down, to dice you up, to stomp you out, you know, to take you to someplace you will never be found again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And that's going to intensify. And that's going to turn up. Hey, bro. That's the, that's the, that's the spirit, too, because um, uh, somebody that I, that I personally know, right, mm. that I knew, that I knew, you know, on the plantation, they just got, um, you know, deleted by the uh, by the uh, baby by their baby daddy, right? Mm. Right in front, of, right in front of their kids, right? Yeah. Uh, Blinky to the obliquity to the head, man. See, mm. right? So called end of man. Mm. Thinking that they know it all, live, living it up, right? The Lord's not yeah, man, a lot of y'all gonna get more pellets, man. Mm -hmm. A lot of y'all gonna get eat more stones, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. You got it, brother. Um, you got some, bro? Yeah, I have some. You got it. <clears throat> this is the book of Ecclesiastes nine and twelve. It says, "For man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in an evil net." And as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it falleth suddenly upon them. You got it, bro. Mm -hmm. Right. So when the fishes is out swimming in the water, they don't know that they about to be caught instantly by a net and be taken. Mm -hmm. And the birds, they might be flying. They don't know they about to get caught in the snare. Right. So that's that's the same way the Lord's comparing this to the judgment. That when it hits all of a sudden, you're gonna get caught up in the Lord's judgment all of a sudden. It can just happen all of a sudden, as the brother read in Deuteronomy 32 and 39. The Lord said, You you nobody can deliver you out of his hand. You know, when you when you caught in that when that evil moment, it's like your your life flashes before your eyes when you in the, when you in the when you in a position of difficulty and no one can save you, man. That's 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 what the Lord is comparing this evil time. Especially this time of Jacob's trouble, you know, it's that we coming into these people gonna be caught off all of a sudden. The judgment just gonna hit. It says, it says, and it, when it falls suddenly upon them, it says suddenly. So suddenly it's gonna be quick, you know. And it, and you ain't gonna know what hit you, mm -hmm. you know. But that's that's pretty much it on that. Um. I guess we'll do one more with Shawa uh, Shua scripture. Kind of, kind of. This is um, this is just um, based on something that you brothers had uh, spoke on earlier. This is Sirach, uh thirty nine and twenty eight. Mm -hmm. Right, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, mm -hmm. which in the fury lay on sore strokes. Mm -hmm. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them that's right and the lord <laughs> like the brother you, you went into the example of that that eve man mm -hmm. you know that jay got tired of that daggone mouth mm -hmm. and he made her eat, eat stone man he made her eat iron if your brothers know what i mean you know mm -hmm. bang down and there's many cases like that and there's gonna be many more worse cases than that you know Especially upon these wicked ass women, man. You see that? And those are spirits created for vengeance. Do you know those, those are those are death angels, man? Mm -hmm. You got it, bro. If you want to say something on it, no, no, no. Just just to that point. The, the, is that all these things that happen, right? The spirit, the spirit created for vengeance, just like the brother said. This the scripture say that what they, they they appease the wrath of them that sin. So these things are not. Uh, uh, Co uh, coincidental like oh that just happened mm -hmm. right no nah, that that spirit that 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 came and befell that man to do what he did and and any other thing that happens they're doing that to please the one that sent them they don't just do anything on their own these spirits are in complete order with the heavenly father yahweh by shim yahweh shine man so ain't nothing no accident or or, or this happened by accident or accidentally pulled the trigger no nah. or actually threw the stone right now right 
it's all according to the will of the heavenly father man and they gonna and like it reads when you read later on down on it they're gonna they're not gonna uh turn back man these spirits are happy to do the will of the heavenly father man that's right uh read down on that a little bit more yeah verse 29 sirach 32 and 29 fire and hell and famine and death all these were created for vengeance you see that you had those different fires you know what i'm saying wildfires uh you had house explosions you got oil leaks you know, these different type of fires and those are those are spirits created for vengeance man it says hell you got those hell storms you know what i'm saying come on man you gonna have the famine of lacking of food water and resources you gonna have the famine of the word the lord's gonna allow seeds to eat to get down on the majority of our people see those are spirits created for vengeance man that's sent for the lord to bring punishment upon our wicked ass people man you know because the lord's getting tired man because if we tire how much more the lord man The Lord's the Lord's anger is waxing more hotter and hotter and hotter in the spirit world. That's why the judgments are intensifying throughout the whole planet Earth. You brothers got it. Look, man, the, like the brother said, the Lord is is, is not going to. The scriptures say, "For uh, wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth." The whole earth. Right? So, yep. Right. So, Second Ezra is fifteen, and I think the 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 scripture right after that says that I shall not suffer them. To uh to commit those things that they profanely, roughly paraphrasing, but that word That's suffer goes into the toilet. Yeah, exactly. Come kind of the water. Mm -hmm. The Lord, the Lord is not going to suffer, which means to tolerate, right? right? The Lord is not about to uh, continue to tolerate wickedness being at an all time high, man. Right? He said, "I shall hold my tongue no more." And when the Lord, right, starts to speak, things happen, man. Right? Um. I'm gonna read down just read down just a little bit. This is verse 30. Oh yeah. Yep. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions. Right, teeth of wild beasts. That goes into your different wild animals, like your dogs, your your your, your lions, your bears, your um your, your your mountain lions. You know, these these people, these 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 creatures or these animals are attacking, especially these Edomites, man. I read through all last week of different dog attacks. You know what I'm saying? You got those bears, they getting down. You know, can these animals remember these people that got them locked up in the cages in these zoos, man? That's why these zoo animals going to escape and get down on these people, man. You don't know that these animals, these they got spirits, man. They, they remember. They got photographic memory just like we do. They know who's who. They know who did what, you know? And they know they ain't supposed to be in the condition that they live in there, man. That captivity. So once the time to escape and, and go back to that animal instinct, they're going to get down, man. The Lord going to allow them to get down. But they're going to be in league with the men of the Lord, though. It says that in the book of Job. It says the animal's going to be in league with thee. You got it. Yep, the reason, on, right? Verse 30, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions serpents and the sword yes yeah, scorpions the serpent different snake bitings you know you know your copperheads your rattlesnakes your anacondas they're getting down you know so they're being found in people's houses they freaking out and then they bite them you know you got these gigantic uh snakes being discovered yeah they're gonna get down on our people too man it says scorpions, you different reptile species. And you know what else is in that family? Spiders, you know? And spiders, you know, like those brown root closes, those black widows, they carry a whole lot of venom in them, man. And the Lord going to allow them to get down on our people even more and more, too. You got it. It reads on, um, verse 30, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction by right, punishing the wicked to destruction those are spirits created for vengeance and what does that sword represent sleazy e man psalm 17 and 13 the lord says the, he uses sleazy e the so-called white man as the lord's sword man mm -hmm. 
So these different police shootings that's banging down our people, those are spirits creative avengers, man. Everybody all in the uproar about they Eve they got her her head blasted, you know, by that cop. Well, guess what? She was wicked, man. Stacy, whatever her damn name was. She's talking about she gonna rebuke him in the name of Jeebus, and you saw that happen. And she got banged for it, you know. In many more cases, it, it, it worse cases is going to happen. Yeah, brothers got it. Yep. Just a little bit more. Um, it reads on verse thirty-one: They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is, and when their time is come. They shall not transgress his word. And you know what else is a part of that sword that our, uh, that our Lord is having me remember those missiles, man? Because the Lord's spirit is going to be in those missiles to God in them to destroy this place, man. And this said, this is this is this is well pleasing to the Lord right here. This they, the angels do the work of the Lord to make him happy. So all this destruction and chaos and deletion is going on throughout the whole planet Earth. This is making the Lord happy, man. You know. They're like, yeah, 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 you did good. Yeah, you did that job perfectly. You know, that's what the Lord telling the angels, man. You know, the angels like, listen, Lord, I could the, the scripture tells that the, the, the different counsel that goes on in the spiritual world between the angels and the Lord about what they're gonna do, you know what I'm saying? What the Lord thinks is the best way to take somebody out or what the best thing to do to somebody. Hey man, listen, man, and the Lord giving the angel the or the order to go do it, and they go do it. There's no rebel amongst the angels. That, that, that whole mythology, man. But that's a whole other topic. You know, you better just got that. Yep. But that was it on that. Let's just got something else. You got something to talk about? <clears throat> I had some uh, just bagging on that point you made about uh, Eve. He's, oh, boy. Not, this, uh, just bad. This said Job 4 and 7. It says, remember, I pray thee. Whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? You got it. You no, know, so a hey, shorty that was taken out, you know, got a got a got a top peel back, so to speak. Hey, that was that was the judgment of Yahweh by Shimei and she yep. she won't in it. She won't innocent man in the eyes nope. of the Lord. You know, so that Lord brought that judgment down, and he used he saw Edom to do it. As the brother, as the brother said, that's the sword of the Lord. So whoever mm -hmm. perished being innocent, man. Every 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 scenario that happened when somebody get deleted on the planet Earth, the Lord has something to do with it, man. And you're gonna we're gonna see more and more of this as the wickedness increases, as iniquity abound more and more. The Lord gonna get more intense with these judgment that He's bringing forth on the Earth, man. That's right. You know. That's it, bro. Yeah, man. Jake worried about what happened to her and George Floyd and all those other people. Man, you better worry about yourself, man. Because worse of judgment is to come, and they're here, and they're going to intensify, man. Worried about a worried about a uh, a bang shot. Hell, the Lord going to allow you saw to, to torture you, Jake's man. You know the hell you went about somebody getting blasted in the head for you know. <laughs> hey, man, the Lord got worse of judgment coming your way. But the two thirds, I just gonna have to feel it and see it before they uh, actually believe it. So, hey, to hell with them. This is only for the elect of the nation of Israel, of the sincere brothers and sisters. Anybody else had anything that was it? Yeah, brothers, good. Yeah, that's it, bro. Yeah, bro. Right, with that, man, we pray that this lesson was edifying. This is another GMS Rally collab once again. The Wadi Abashi Masha for allowing us brothers to get up and, and do this, Lord's with an edifying lesson, man. Hey, we all we got. Hey, this is all we need. And we just keep pushing to the best of our abilities. Before we close out, we want to give our honor and our glory and our praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh. And next to double honors to our elder apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone and Shalawan to all the sincere arguments out there pushing 100% truth according to the Bible to the best of their abilities throughout the whole planet Earth, man. 
keep pushing, keep fighting, keep the faith, keep fearing your heart by Shemal Shah. Next time we say Shalawan to the elect. Shalawan. To the elect. To the elect.